Welcome aboard. Today we're still on the flight deck of the United States ship Theodore Roosevelt, CBN 71, aka the Rough Rider, aka, oh, there goes the jet, aka the Big Stick. It's November. We're in the Northern Arabian Gulf. It's wet. It's a little chilly. And we're doing case three operations in daytime, supporting combat operations near the Northern Iraq border with Syria. We're on cycle three of a 10 cycle day, and the Airboss just started launching jets. You just saw one come off the waist and right off the nose on catapult two, which is the inboard bow catapult. You see a Super Hornet getting lined up, ready to go. Just to the left of him behind the JBD, you see a director moving the jet forward, coming forward, coming forward, and stop. And you can see the director's under training because she's got a qualified director behind her, making sure that she's giving the appropriate hand signals to the pilot. Let's look at the jet now on Cat 2. We're third in line for Cat 2, so you see the jet lined up. There's a jet behind the JBD, and then we're going to go after that jet. All right, they're looking over the jet on the Cat. Looks like we're just waiting on the catapult operator to make sure the aircraft type and gross weight are correct for the catapult selector valve settings to make that airplane go fly. There's the topside petty officer, making sure he's all hooked up and ready to go. He's signaling to the shooter now to pull that jet forward. Just a little bit, a little bit. There it is. There's the hand signal for tension. The pilot's going to take his feet off the brakes, put the parking brake in, or disengage it. Top side's going to give it one last look. Launch bar looks good. Now he's getting out of the way. Should be running it up any second now. There it is. Power's coming up. Signature move. No big deal. Pilot's wiping out the controls. Can't quite see it. Hand salute. And now we wait, we wait, we wait, fly Navy. JBD goes down, and now the next jet, with the director under training, is gonna cross the JBD, get lined up on Cat 2, and we're gonna get behind Cat 2 now, getting ready to go. Okay, just waiting on our director. That's crossing the JBD. Okay, our director's right above our left mirror, telling us to come forward. Come forward. Come forward. Now turn left. Come forward. Another jet going off the waist. Coming forward. Looking left now. New director. Turn left towards that new director. Coming left. Coming left. There she is. Now come forward. A little to the right. Passing it off. Come forward. Come forward. Our director's on our right side now, just outside of the camera field of view. Looks like they're gonna stop us right here. And as soon as the jet goes off cat two, we're gonna do a right 180 to line up on the catapult. We're currently parallel two, but on the reciprocal direction of cat two. All right, now that we have a minute, let's take a look at the tower. There's a couple things I want to point out that are kind of interesting while we have a minute waiting to get shot off a of Cat 2. Okay, so on the bottom of the tower, what we call the islands on the aircraft carrier is FDC or flight deck control. And that's where the handler works with his crew to predetermine the movement of all aircraft on the flight deck and in the hangar bay. If it moves or if it's taking up space on the flight deck, the handler's got a plan for it. Looking at the tower, the first deck where you see a bunch of windows is the flag bridge. And that's where the Admiral and his staff work. And that's where they command the CSG or the carrier strike group. That includes not only the aircraft carrier, but any of their small boys, submarines, things like that, that are in that particular strike group. Above the Admiral's bridge is called the NAV bridge. This is basically the ship's command center where the captain or the CDO commands the ship during flight operations. It's also where the helmsman steers the ship. The Lee helmsman directs the engine room to direct the ship's speed and the quartermaster of the watch navigates the ship. One deck up from the bridge is Pryfly, and that's where the boss and the mini boss work. And they basically control all the activity in the flight deck and within about five to 10 miles of the ship. The boss generally is gonna manage all the landings on the ship and everything that happens on the backside of the ship, whereas the mini boss is gonna manage mostly launches and everything that's happening on the front end of the ship. Okay, looks like it's time to go. Gotta release the parking brake. 
And here we go, coming up from the throttle, the director's right there to the left of the HUD, coming forward. Now right turn, right turn. Pass me up to a new director on the right-hand side. He's telling me to turn right, turn right, turn right. Come forward, come forward. Passing me up to another director on Cat 2. Can't quite see him yet, tell me to come forward. A lot of steam, now I'm turning right forward and I stop because I can't see my director. Steam's going away. There he is. Coming forward now. Coming forward. Can't see so I'm going to stop again. Look in. There he is. Coming forward. Nice and slow. A little to the right. There we go. Getting lined up, coming forward, all right, coming forward, coming forward, coming forward, a little more, and stop. All right, launch bar down. Full signature move, no big deal. Oh, the director's telling me now to kick my launch bar to the left a little bit to get it in the track. Now he's telling me to spread my wings, I'm going to look left, right, and the wings are coming down. Got another jet launching off the waist. All right, our launch bar is now in the nose gear launch track. And we're moving the jet forward up to the shuttle. Come forward, come forward, and stop. Okay, got the jet all trimmed up. Hands are up now, arm in the aircraft. Getting us ready to go. Shooter's got the control now. He's walking over to the left side. The hand signals you see from the shooter are for the catapult operator. The shooter's telling the catapult operator to move the shuttle closer towards the aircraft. Now we're going to move the jet up slowly just a few more inches. There we go. Now we're in tension. Our feet are off the brakes. Our parking brake is in or disengaged. Looking left, looking right. Everything looks good. Make sure to watch the water droplets on the canopy. This is going to be fun. All right, shooter's running me up. Throttle comes up, wiping out the flight controls. Look good. Going to the EFD, everything looks good. Blends, look good, no flight control problems. Hand salute, head goes back. We're at max power and we wait. We wait. We wait. Fly Navy. Well guys, if you enjoyed the jam today, please like, leave a comment, subscribe. Buy me a beer. The details are in the description. Welcome to War Ground Gems.